Excellent. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We have the second match of the quarter, fi quarter final round here at the Skak Esports Showdown. Overwatch will continue on. We'll get more games in up next right now, actually. Trinity versus Southwestern. Should be some pretty good games. Uh, I believe the first map they'll be electing to go is some, uh, what is it? Punch King's, King's Row? Row? Yeah. yeah. From what we can see over here. <clears throat> Last match was interesting. Uh, had some uh, pretty quality pushes and defenses yeah. from Austin Call to see how they pull things off versus Shriner uh, in the semifinal matches. I heard from a couple of folks up here that that was mm -hmm. when they played against them in the prelims, that was a very close three games. Yep. So we'll see how that wraps up later on today or tomorrow. <clears throat> Currently, though, Trinity versus Southwestern. See how things end up in that regard. Should also be a pretty close game, I believe. Uh, I haven't talked to the Trinity or Southwestern folks about that yet, but from what I've heard around the block, around the street, that's <laughs> how it'll be. Yeah, like we said, we only have uh, knowledge of these teams because of what we did against them or what how we played against them, so we didn't get to stream their individual games, so we'll see how those turn out. Looks like uh, <laughs> we're trying to here. iron out some issues <laughs> with the lobby. <laughs> that's okay. We'll figure things out. <laughs> Regardless, hopefully y'all have been waking up and getting things done this. Oh yeah, it's definitely early for some Saturday morning. Some of you watching all. us, still not here. Had a couple issues here with uh, rotating tickers. Didn't export the correct one, but we fixed that. Uh, it's been kind of a wild ride up here in the casting section. I've just kind of thrown things to the wayside, gotten things done. Pulling people up for interviews, trying to figure out how we're going to smash up here. <laughs> um, yeah, it's, it's been crazy. Running several hundred feet of cable over the edge of the balcony <laughs> down to Across the, the entire you know, the venue. Sound <laughs> down there. Yeah, things are going crazy out here. At least for streaming purposes. The venue hasn't filled up yet. People haven't woken up and gotten out here. Yeah, but it's still pretty early. Yeah, all the side events aren't running yet. 10.30. Magic the Gathering. Oh, I'll be starting soon. Right. Not entirely sure, though. I, I can see the packs of cards from here. That's, <laughs> that looks pretty enticing, not going to lie. Ooh. I'm a big Magic the Gathering fan. I don't know about you, Marco, but... I've barely played barely any played. Magic. Uh, yeah. And the Magic I played, you'll probably be ashamed of. <laughs> 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 it mean, was like the free Magic on Xbox. Can't be worse my father, let me tell you. <laughs> Di dies to Pact, his first major event. Mm. And then... If you're listening, you play Magic Gathering, you won't believe this. <laughs> Went zero, zero, and three, first three rounds of his first major event, playing Jund. It's very hard to do. Also tied against Burn playing Jund. I don't know how he managed that. But regardless, let's talk about something other than Magic Gathering. Overwatch, perhaps? Yeah, let's talk about Overwatch instead. Not sure who I'd favor in this matchup. Uh, I believe... I'd probably favor Southwestern, personally. Uh, but in terms of... The colleges themselves, not entirely sure. Like we said, we'll find out very soon. Uh, lobby seems to be, uh, for the most part, situated. Uh, mm -hmm. I guess we'll be j just waiting to see uh, when they get that started. King's Row still being highlighted, so perhaps that'll be the map we'll be seeing. Probably not. <laughs> <laughs> Josh is not <laughs> beast of that, <laughs> that comment. Uh, I can hear myself out here in the venue. It's a little bit unsettling. Not going to lie. Yeah. We've streamed to like 50 people before, but never in person. It's a little bit... Whew. Never to the whole venue. Yeah, yeah. exactly. <clears throat> Things are rolling around out here in Kerrville. Kerrville, Texas. Austin College actually is six hours away, so Texas is bigger <laughs> than it seems. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I knew it was away. large, but yeah. man... <clears throat> but yeah, like we, you said, our drive would be like around 18 hours ish. So right, that's why we flew to San Antonio. There we go. Boom. Get the clock in here, maybe. Yeah. There, there we go. go. Excellent. Just gonna stay aware of the time. Just in case you have the Twitch stream on full screen. Can you scooch a little bit over. So I got a couple it's edges. Like, no, it's it's. Oh, oh this way. Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I need to scooch over. There we go. Okay. Uh, any updates on how the lobby's looking? Still, still cruising. Yep. It's okay. We can kill time. 
That's what we're here Professional for. time killers. <laughs> Despite spending several hours doing physics labs in the past couple of days, I'm still a professional time killer. And sleeping for like four hours at a hotel. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> well, the past two nights I've gotten a total of nine hours of, no, eight hours of sleep. It's not, not a good time. We literally crashed at our hotel late night and then Hour early nothing. in the morning was like hi we're checking out time to go yeah <laughs> 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 pretty sure the same graveyard shift uh, <laughs> front desk person was still there saw us check in saw us check out it's like aren't you guys aren't you leaving well it's, it's airport hotel so they're probably used to it by now yeah true flight was good stormy though apparently tomorrow if you're not aware weather forecast tomorrow morning Sunday morning should be a pretty big thunderstorm rolling through here should be out of here by 10 though also, what do you think about the weather? I personally like the weather. You like the weather? Yeah. Uh, I'm a big fan of rainy days. I, yeah, rainy. I would much rather have several rainy days than several sunny days, and people will think I'm crazy for that one. Same. But I don't know. The sun is hot, and I like the rain. The rain sounds good. The rain smells nice. Exactly. It's like it's just that like morning smell. Rain it's on the asphalt. Hot <laughs> asphalt, my favorite smell. Not going to lie. Can't be it. The rain smell. Only problem is when you're trying to live in it. So if you're camping in rain, that's not the most fun okay, thing. Yeah, yeah. But if it's uh, snowing, that's like the best of all worlds. Cause it's <laughs> not like you're still a little bit wet, but you're not soaked. You're still cold, but it's easier to get warm. And snow in itself is comfortable. It's great. It's also easy to build stuff on snow. Walls, platforms. Things are nice. Are you still referring to camping? Yes. Okay. So like if you're camping and like putting your tent down, yeah. you need like a nice space. And if you're snow, you can make it as flat as possible. So there's no like <laughs> rocks, sticks. And you're supposed to clear those out, but like every once in a while there's just like one tree root in the middle of middle of your back, like, man, this is this is really uncomfortable. Going where? Horizon, Horizon lunar colony is <laughs> map selection here. <clears throat> Two C P up first. Fortunately, uh, we can't tell the weather forecast over there. Probably really cold if you step outside. Where? Horizon. Oh. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Space. <laughs> is the moon cold? Good question. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, it's not healthy for you, that's for sure. Perhaps deadly. <laughs> 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 yeah, I would assume so. Space likely kills you. It does kill you. Only Winston has a spacesuit, I believe. Winston, y yes. <laughs> But everyone survives, you know, they're superheroes. Girls, right, we're rolling into the match here. Appears to be Southwestern on the defense. Trinity on the offense. We see some familiar faces here. Quirty. How can you forget that one? Burger <laughs> Pants also. Yeah. <laughs> Happy to see y'all again today. Yeah, like we said, we're very excited to be here. Hopefully y'all are as well. Can't assume you're not. <coughs> yes, Gabe will be starting up here very soon. Uh, we'll see what compositions they will be electing to start off with. No spark skins. Feels bad. Yes. <laughs> well, Trinity will be rolling out with some traditional goats here on defense, while Southwestern will also be running a mirror composition of traditional goats. Goats on defense, not a bad idea. We don't we don't know what you're up against. Goats on offense, also not a bad idea. <laughs> 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 it's kind of the spirit of Overwatch in the past couple of weeks. Hey, but at least months. we get to see a true skill matchup uh, here with, like we said, mirror composition. So let's see uh, how well they play these out. Good sportsmanship all around as well. As Quirky hits us with a good luck, have fun. As we shall. Southwestern going to hang around the corner here up to the first choke. We'll see them try to peel into this hallway with Nighty Knight's shield. There it goes. The elected route. Good. Nobody's left behind. Nice defense matrix work. <clears throat> nice Beast. fire strikes. Let's see who gets picked off first in this uh, large scale fight in the hallway. Lost damage will be tossed down. Night Knight does fall down here. Southwestern getting very low. Shagger already charged up for Trinity. He's going to find three. <clears throat> Puppy keeps pushing forward, trying to see from some stragglers. T8 comes up huge in that fight with the hammer. Lots of charge for T8. Finds the Earth Shatter, cleans up the fight. Tr Southwestern, though, is building their own ultimates. They'll have two support ultimates here. They'll have Rowley and Transcendence available. Southwestern will soft to a Farah for some more long-range artillery. Try to see if we can weaken the shield down. 
We'll see how they try to pull this fight off again here with more ultimates being built. Palm Goog and Burger Pants. Same situation here. Rally and Transcendence. Southwestern already hopping to the point and Trinity's going to respond right away. There's Rally from Southwestern mode. Bradbury pops it. Tries to find any picks they can grab. Night Night heal by Transcendence. Clutch Transcendence. <laughs> Transcendence no. and Rally at the same time. No picks quite yet. Lucio getting very low. Some stuns. Diva getting demect. Nice sound barrier from some uh, Torn Blade here. We'll keep him alive. Diva Bomb will find at least one. Damage Board does get taken down. Both Earthshires popped as well. This is chaotic. Southwestern <laughs> looking very strong. They're already two for one as their enemy breaks getting very low. That's three already. It looks like they will be able to capture this point as they find the remaining uh, enemies still on the point. Southwestern comes up with a great offense here. We'll grab the point. It's very difficult to cast goats. <laughs> <it's always laughs> absolutely no idea what's happening. As you can see it was uh, pretty hectic there. Uh, Southwestern will start pushing right away into the second point. <coughs> Six minutes in the clock. Rally going to be popped for this Capitalize first initial push. That. Grab the team. Get the armor stacked up here. Saxer Man's pretty much uncontested in the air here. Diva Bomb will be blocked. No problem. Oh, Zenyaga actually found himself in the radius of that. <clears throat> Burger Pants finds more Bradbury. It's one down here for Southwestern. Probably stifle their offense. They're going to choose to retreat and pick up their teammates instead. Nice choices from Southwestern. They have a cool five and a half minutes to get this next point. So lots of patience here. Uh, Farrah does have her ultimate up, so let's see how they try to combo that. They do not have a grab of themselves to combo with, but a shagger shall do. Trinity seems fairly confident in their ability to deal with Saxermans on Farah here. Burger Pants or Puppy should be able to deal with that. No problem. <clears throat> Meanwhile, Trinity does have a Graviton Surge of their own. They're going to take the high ground here, match the offense of Southwestern, push into a choke. We see T8 sending it. Here's a Transcendence for that. <laughs> for every Shagger will find two. Graviton holding Southwestern, coupled here. <clears throat> Trinity's Double down one point. for now. No Bradbury also taking out even fight here. Earthshatter doesn't find much, looks like. There's Rally. There's well. getting very low. And Zanyaga on the Burger Pants will find him around the corner. Puppy still staying strong with a high charge, getting lots of damage. Saxerman is down for Southwestern. It's a pretty big piece of their offense. Trinity is finding a lot of members dead here. Oh, good offensive push for Southwestern so far. Still first tick, <coughs> barely captured right now. As Trinity still uh, sprinkling back into the point to contest. Still skeleton coming up pretty huge here. Lots of picks. Lots of assists as well. Discord doing a lot of work. Earthshot doesn't find anybody here. Forger from 99. Double transcendence once again. Keep both teams alive. Yes. Doubt anyone's gonna die there. Rocket but the barrage, barrage already built beautiful defense matrix here. We'll take care of that. Cordy kind of will actually find that kill. Uh, Diva bomb will be dropped onto the point itself. Not much here. Graviton. It was eaten by beasts. Southwestern still <clears> looking <throat> strong. Still have not captured a second tick. There it goes. Will they get the third before they can contest? It looks like nice. they will. We'll pick it up. Chaotic fight here from Southwestern. Beautiful defense, or sorry, offense. <coughs> For Southwestern, they still have plenty of time left. Looks like they got three minutes and 30 seconds remaining. They're able to keep their team alive. Great work from Seal Set Skeleton and other supports on Southwestern. But now it's going to be Trinity's turn to see what they can do in offense. I imagine they're going to be running once again Goats versus Goats. Uh, I see the same deal here. Wonder if Southwestern will keep the Pharah or elect to go the Zarya on defense here. I probably would expect Zarya instead. Yeah. Just a much overall safer pick and just Pharah better on offense. And like if you don't find that works out for you, always change later. A little bit hard to do that defense though, but we'll see. <coughs> That looks like that entire is disobeying gravity, but <laughs> not entirely sure. Mm -hmm. Saw a couple of Earth Arrows go into nothing here. In the last couple of fights, a couple of other ultimates being chucked into defense matrices. Great plays from both sides, though. Cordy, especially with that defense matrix, that was beautiful. Yeah. I like seeing that. I mean, sometimes it can be hard to get those shaggers through, especially with just so many things to block it, such as even, even up to a brick shield and two bubbles. Perhaps, and obviously the Rhinar shield. Southwestern going to elect not to run goats into whatever Trinity's pulling, which is goats. Still be running that double explosives. 
be pulling out the Junkrat and Faro here. It's pulling his splash damage. We'll see how TA and the puppy deal with this. Yeah, rest in peace to his shield. It's going to be a feels bad for him, but let's see how they uh, deal with that. Preemptive Fire Strike will not hit anyone. They're going to choose a different route than Southwestern. They're going to go around the left hand side instead, straight to the point. And does leave Southwestern with the high ground. It'll drop down to contest. Test Skeleton by himself. Anti Nade hits one. Burger Pants finds one pick on a Saxer Mans. Zinyaga finds some trouble as Divas chasing them down, gets very low, will find them. Mo Bradbury. It's two down for the defense Southwestern. Trey looking pretty strong here on this offense. Junkrat getting lots of value, huge damage. Ari has his rip tire up. Will he use it? Looks like he won't be using it quite yet, so he's probably setting it for the next next big push. Four more picks here for Trinidad. They'll pick up the point. And a short notice here. I'll see if Southwestern chooses to tap this or not. Looks like they're not going to do that. Well, I can see at least. Too so once far again, this point that. gets captured pretty fast. So now Trinity will be having close to seven minutes to try to capture the next point. So we might see a long game here, folks. <coughs> Southwest are going to set up on the high ground on the left-hand side. We see the teams duking it out. My heart fire strikes come out. Both shaggers about There's to a rip come tire. out. There's a riptire. Make turn things around. Ooh. Beautiful riptire finds two on the side of Trinity. Southwestern comes up big. They'll clean up the fight John as well. Grant finds four picks. Already, so Trinity will be forced to back up. Uh, already here is Dmec. Uh, see if she gets right, uh, staggered or uh, tries to farm up her mech. Trinity will be electing to go right down the middle into the point. Antine will find three though. Trinity's getting very low. Oh, that beat comes down just in time to save the team. Uh, Zenyaga will also pop his Transcendence. Both Transcendents are currently popped right now. Graviton and Anarchy are thrown out here. Hectic fight will result in Southwestern picking that one up. <laughs> Man, the boost is my heart. Doing work. Mo Bradbury also doing a lot of work here with the Graviton Surge, <coughs> assisting him in that one. Yeah, Mo, Bra Mo Bradbury is coming up huge with this damage. Uh, he's finding lots of kills in. Splash damage onto Trinity. Pretty effective in the short doorways on Lunar here. Burger Pants finds a pick on this hot skeleton. So this is Trinity's perfect chance to push in. This is a 6v5. Burger Pants needs to be careful, doesn't get picked here. Oh, right. Instead, pop ooh, pop almost gets ooh. the Anna. The deal bomb on point will stall out the push. Oh, Brig actually gets pinned against the wall. Graviton starts to get Find two. Will it be effective though? Rip tire. Let's find two again. Oh, Brad Wright stifles the Trinity push. A great rip tire. Oh, Diva versus. Oh, he actually can find the neck. Tax man's probably happy with the old charge here. Picks about 10% from that. They will be staggering this baby Diva. So slowing down Trinity's push once again. Also keep her Ana safe. Defense matrix. Bradbury gets out of there with a well-placed sticky bomb, taking about 100 points of damage and getting himself safe to safety. T8 uh. looking for the Earth Shatter here. Hasn't been too strong. With those, they'll be going all the way wide left for this Well-placed shields, though. See how this Reinhardt fight turns out. Here's Nano Boost onto Nighty Knight. They're going to push into the corridor here. Earth Shatter is blocked Ooh, by, by T8. Beautiful. There's the Earth Shatter I was looking for. Finds force, keeps swinging hard, but he's getting very low, so gonna have to back up for that. Transcendence, unfortunately, stifling T8's Earth Shatter, but that was nice. Great block, great counter shatter. It's looking like a strong push for Trinity. Diva Bomb shouldn't be much of an issue. Oh, Ooh. it actually was. Finds three. Modern <laughs> Town Surge will secure uh, the last bit of uh, stragglers from Trinity, and that's gonna be another successful hold for Southwestern. Great plays from both sides that past fight. <clears throat> Not sure where the rest of Southwestern, or sorry, Trinity was for that Diva Bomb. Uh, T8 had the shield up, might have broken beforehand, and it didn't break, so he didn't die. And Brig also had her shield up, yeah. so it might have just been an angles thing. Yeah. 
but great shot from TA. Fortunately, kind of by Scout, that Scout took a nice play from them. Three, Three minutes pants. left on the clock. Trinity needs to find their one successful push to keep this game alive. There's but Riptire. No Bradbury's trying to put a stop to that. I'll look for it. It'll find Dumbledge Boar in the back line. Thugger Pants looking for that tire, but couldn't quite get to it before it took out Dumbledge Boar. Nice, uh. Dynamite oh, doing good damage. Charge is good. We'll find T8. That's two already down for Trinity, so they'll have to back up once again. Trinity does elect to go with a Junkrat of themselves for their own. They're seeing the success Southwestern has with this, so they'll try to see if they can replicate some of it. Ooh, he gets hit by the direct grenade, so we'll have to heal back up. Burger Pants has Bob available, but Torn Blade should be able to save sleep for it. Here's Bob, it's sent in. Bob was all the way in the back line. Burger Pants pretty low, not taken out quite yet. It is taken out in the end by Beast. Bob appears to be in the back line. Not doing too much. Here's a Nana Boosted Reinhardt with nobody to attack. Only able to get a Fire Strike off, but not much more than that. Potentially misplay. Junkrat getting very aggressive there. Power Tom L4 Puppy here. Will choose to use it. Ooh, Finds nice. a whole Southwestern oh, squad. Oh, but the Shagger and the Diva Bomb <laughs> combo is going to find four. Junkrat Riptire will find the remaining two, and that's going to be a team kill for Trinity. For Southwestern. Oh, Trinity died. Yeah, that's yeah. going to be. <laughs> <laughs> Trinity is team kill. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was yeah. exciting. Uh, Puppy electing to throw out the Graviton. Good choice there, but Seal Set Sailton is there for the Transcendence. Saves the team, wipes Trinity, forces them to regroup here, make a new attack plan. No ultimates for Southwestern, though. See if Trinity can use Shatter here effectively with Riptire of their own. A minute left on the clock, so depending on how this push goes, it could be their last one. I should recognize that Southwestern has no ultimates up here. Here's Riptire. Find anybody in time, but will not. Only Shadow left here. T8 needs to break this shield of Night Knight. Charge is good to find Fine, the Bomb Goo. Critical pick. Another two up on the board for Southwestern. And Shadow doesn't find anybody here. He is taken Except out. Beast, but it's not going to matter. Nano goes onto the Rhine once again. Not much very use. Not much use out of that. 33 seconds left. So Trinity can get one last push in here. It's going to have to be pretty rushed though. So hopefully that Nano doesn't come back to bite them. Would have liked to see T8 hold the shadow there instead of throwing it out. I have to recognize you have another push left. Push available, rather. Yes. Trinity's Amgoog, dealing up the team. A little low. It's a lot of damage with the fire strike. Axeman is frozen. They have May. May does fall. Cordy taken out. Night Knight finds the Ooh, team. Could be a big shatter. Shatter is big. Or we'll only find Reinhardt because yeah. the shield is actually facing the other way. Tire is good, finds Puppy. So Even fight here on the point. Diva Bomb turns some things around, finds Burger Pants. Mora and Lucio trying to keep the dream alive. They're the last one standing on the point. Let's May trying to see out. if she can stall for a little bit longer can while tag? gets here. Can't no, tag. Southwestern with a successful defense there. I'll pick up game one of this set. Ooh, that was intense. That was intense and very exciting. Of course, play of the game should be that... Uh, Team kill from Saxerman with the help of Mo Bradbury. There's Mass Diva Bomb. Oh, yeah. the Shattered Shag. Shag the huge Shagger. Nighty Knight. Night Knight. Didn't see you there. You get credit here. Yeah, exactly. The game didn't give you credit, but we will. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't see it when it happened, though. We were like, oh my, Diva Bomb finds a million. It's like, ah. What happened? Shatter was good. That's what happened. It was indeed. I'm a fan of seeing clean shatters. That's why I want to see Brock's table today. <laughs> clean shatters. Four out of five. Six, mm. perhaps. Like four out of, oh yeah. Or oh, six. Okay. Or six man shatters. It's also uh, yeah. something to look out for. <laughs> Any large numbers. They'll come out. Oh, we'll Guaranteed. See them somewhere. Mm -hmm. Great plays from both sides. That last game, pretty tight match. Looks like the game was pretty even throughout. Yeah. Both uh, first points were captured fairly fast. Uh, so Southwestern uh, was able to hold better on the second point. So we'll see how they transition onto second map, which is looking to be like Li Jing Tower. 
And it Jean is. Tower picked up for King of the Hill today in the match of Trinity versus Southwestern. Southwestern coming up by one. Busan banned out, for those who of care. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> for those who care about that. <laughs> pretty expected. Keep in mind, uh, Busan gets banned out pretty much every time. It's completely fair. Might see some more goats here on Lijing control point. Well, we see a May. We saw a May uh, at May. some point at also the end of, of that last round or the last game. Uh, so maybe they'll bust it out here. Ready for battle. Southwestern looking to be playing at potentially some Reaper here. They're going to keep Mo Bradbury on Junkrat. Did very well last game with that. TA actually on ball. Reaper Different ready. strategy looks like from both sides. Five. Much more damage based heroes this time around from both sides. Looking to make quick fights. We'll see how effective Death Blossom is for Southwestern. Not a lot of disruption on the side of Trinity for that. Only sound barrier to block against it, but if you cast sound barrier too late, you don't really get the protection. <coughs> Night Knight playing more Reinhardt. No Reinhardt outside of Trinity. Might see that change. Pharmacy, though, for Trinity is good. See how they can deal with it. Yeah, Two Southwestern picks. doesn't really have any uh, much tools to take it out, take out the Pharaoh with, so we'll probably be swapping off here. <coughs> doing some good work so far. Zarya doing her best to take care of that, though. Southwestern will be swapping off to the McCree. A much better choice for dealing with that. Yeah, playing Junk around the Farah, not the best option. That's okay. Trinity grabs the point for the first ticks here. Sanj going over to Trinity. Be so we'll be staying on that Reaper. I guess they definitely uh, I think prefer. Reaper's probably fine pick here. Yeah. Especially in the face of for a health tank. like Close range, big damage. Safe and Bradbury can find the angles here from McCree. Doesn't quite find Puppy. Finds two shots. Brings her to half. Still nothing. Uh, Damage from now. TA gets pretty low here. Might die because the 50 health is taken out by Saxoman. Death Blossom going to be coming out here very soon. Just one more shot should be available. Might be a good one good here. Time to use it. Transcendence, though, is on. Southwestern should be able to capture this point. There we go. Could be now and there. Trinity was able to get 40% of that, so pretty solid first cap. Good ult discipline from Southwestern. Throwing out Graviton, realizing it was countered by Burger Pants' own Transcendence. Beast not using Death Boss. Well, the Sacrifice is pulled in and taken out here. There's a perfect chance for Trinity. Nice uh, pilot might have driver. Been a too early. I see time tells. TA finding two kills already on the ball. Will he get the McCree? Still chasing them down. Might be looking to stagger him. There we go. Finishes him off. Trinity As he's trying to run him from his life. The point. Noticing that pick being picked off here. Crucial Zarya pick will grab the point. Hello. Southwestern back on the offense. Have Transcendence and Death Blossom available. We'll have Shatter soon. Might see a sneaky high noon from the high ground here in a bit as well. We'll see what they can do. Here's Transcendence to force the point. Now offensively, well. high noon. High Shagger high finds noon. three. Nice pin. We'll be securing the kill onto the Roadhog before he gets his, his sip. Nice health. fast high noon. Just going to grab Puppy out of the skies here. To start that one off. We'll lead South Boston to finish up the rest of Trinity. Yeah, if you time your high noon as soon as Pharaoh uses her boost pack, uh, you have a pretty high chance of killing her. That was all of Southwestern's ultimates, though. They have mana boost available in a couple minutes, or sorry, seconds here. Not minutes. <laughs> 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 Trying to take a lot of damage in this fight, especially due to Fire Strike. They have Rocket Barrage here available, but nothing to lock Southwestern down. Look at what sucks in this Graviton here. Transcendence is good, so that's going to stop any Southwestern damage. Boom, good. We'll use Rocket the Barrage. Oh. Ooh, taken out by <coughs> High Noon. Southwestern, uh, pretty successful there. Pharaoh's still up, getting very low, but the Mercy keeps topping her off. Yeah, even fight besides these next couple picks from Tomish Borer coming huge here for Trinity. 
point still not quite captured. There's still someone contesting. Trinity needs to get that on top of that as soon as they can. Looks like Saxon Man stalling as long as they can. There we go. Has the play. Now Trinity's point. Uh, Southwestern has about, I don't know, let's say 20 seconds to get back on there. It's a pretty close game so far. Very close, actually. <laughs> yeah. Now it's even. There you go. <laughs> See if they can look for the shatter angle here. Puppy taking about half Ooh, health. Nice, nice shot from Mo Bradbury. Bradbury. That's a crucial pick. So us recognizes the push into the point. Should find ball here as well, but <clears throat> nice, nice, a little bit overextended. They'll be okay. It's gonna turn around though, eventually. But Southwestern will be able to cap that point before Trinity wins the game. 99% for Trinity. So Trinity, one last final push. Burger Pants, hopefully does, they can overextend there. Could be in trouble. Getting very low will be get will be found by the enemy Sinyaga. There's a Graviton to lock down Trinity before they can get onto the point. It'll be first round to Southwestern on Li Zhang Tower. That was a very close match. <laughs> I didn't see everything there. I saw Reinhardt overextended, quote unquote, but actually was Forcing off the other side of Trinity yeah. as they are fighting on the points. That's not bad angle to take there. <coughs> Trinity will stay on the Pharah and Mercy after a last round success. Fair enough. Hopefully Southwestern has better luck dealing with that, which they did, but See, it took them a while. The same composition here. We'll swap out Beast from Reaper to Junkrat. The old luck to keep uh, Mo Bradbury Han McCree was very effective last game. See, if you play it right, you can actually take out a Pharaoh with Junkrat by launching yourself all the way up to her and barrel stuffing her with Burger Pants finds a quick pick on the Beast here. Two up for Trinity. One will get Rez. One over Southwestern. Once again, Trinity will be the first ones to cap the point. Small Bradbury throws a stun. Save his life. Lucio coming in clutch here for Trinity, getting to the point faster than Southwestern. Allows them to set up their defense. And right click looks As you promising. can see, it was successful. No ultimates quite yet for both sides. Uh, but they are getting there. Anna, the closest one, with 82% on nano boost. Probably will be electing to nano Rhine. Perhaps Zarya if she's high to charge. We'll see how that one plays out. <coughs> Mo Bradbury looking for the angles. Not going to find them just yet. Discorded. Takes a lot of damage. Ooh. He's got out of there. Careful. He's coming up on high noon fairly soon. Good tool to take care of that. So much more. Finds Mo Bradbury. My Knight will trade the pick over to QWERTY, potentially a better pick. This lot of damage is taken out though. Has Barrage, but probably no, actually uses it in the face of the D.Va and pretty much ends up killing herself. <coughs> Southwestern going uh, to find that as a chance to get into the point here. Although potentially a little miscommunication, just with Ana and Zarya. Zarya gets knocked backwards, Ana sends it to the point and gets taken out. Trinity looking very good on this point, 70% uh, already. So if they can hold off like one last push, or maybe two. <coughs> Southwestern this making one. a little bit of a change here, gonna swap over to Mora. Early Zara bubble does block some damage, looks like, from the Saxer Mans. Mo Bradbury does have the high noon, hopefully he can take out the Pharah and Mercy. Night, night. Ooh, nice Groucher, big <coughs> Violet Grenade as well, and a Shatter. That's four ultimates from Southwestern. There's the high noon we were talking about. Finds two, but the bombs from Hammond gonna find <laughs> two, and he's gonna find one of himself. T8 comes up huge in the counter attack here for Trinity. 99%. They won't be able to contest, so that's gonna be round two over to Trinity. 1-1 one, one here on game two. Yep. Some Pikachu's in there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <that's> <laughs> <solid>. yeah. <laughs> Hopefully, we'll get to see him 
rock that Pikachu and some Smash? Might actually be the Alex we're thinking of. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, regardless. Sorry. I'm, I'm, we'll I still. misled you. <laughs> now, uh, <laughs> yeah, I definitely got Javigit there. Southwest, you're going to rotate over to a different composition here. They'll pick up Zenyatta and Lucio. Recognizing the importance of getting that point as fast as possible. T8 here, though, is on the point, or next to the point. Doesn't quite find the wraparound on the ball. Gets the information. And Trinity's already on the point, locking it down while Southwestern kind of push hard. Uh, Reinhardt Shield already broken. Could get focused down here. Farrell that was will find a kill by pushing there. someone off the map. <coughs> Finds a second one well, to Beast, ooh. actually. <laughs> Not having the rockets available. Terra still there. being uncontested here, deep into the back line. It's discorded, not killed. Mercy is there for the assist. Burger Prince finds Mo Bradbury. It's two down here for Southwestern. Three, that'll be the point to Trinity. Makes the nice offense. Rocket Barrage already available for Trinity here in the next few seconds. Southwestern going to swap over to Ana as well. Looking like they're trying to figure out how to break through Pharmacy from Trinity here. Ana is a good choice for that. Seems to be their current biggest uh, attempt. Or not attempt, what am I looking for? <coughs> oh, Whoop is not oh, good. Oh, it looked <laughs> good. Looks like a well. nice sleep off the air. Grab just trying to push on a TAT. It falls off the edge. Valkyrie is here. Rocket Barrage Roll is eaten a little bit here. Transcendence is great here from Burger Pants. We'll keep the team alive. Cordy already down, though. <coughs> Southwestern currently duking it out for Trinity, trying to fight for their lives. Ooh, Roadhog getting very low, but all the way up to full health already. Southwestern <coughs> not having much luck here. That nice. was far because of a big damage. TA in the back line, disrupting everything. Beast taken out of the mech and will <laughs> get falling down <laughs> into the pit. Yep. Trinity does not gonna does not want to give up quite yet because if they do lose this one, they will not be going to semifinals. But it's looking like we might be going to game three here. Boop, this is good here for Torn Blade. It's taken out by Dungeon Borer. Laying down the damage into the hallway. Southwestern try to go through this way earlier as well. Doesn't seem to work out for them currently. Burger Plants finds a kill into the enemy, Anna. Yeah. Stormbo got picked off pretty early there, but now Southwestern has to push on to the point. They have no With choice. 90%. Oh. They'll throw everything, and they're the kitchen sink into the garage here. They have a very good shot here, but... They're <laughs> finding lots of kills in the back. Hectic fight. Valkyrie is good for Trinity as well as Transcendence. Another boop Dodge Borer finds Saxermans. That'll be two down for Southwestern. They get on the point here. They got a touch. They will Ooh, tap. Diva barely touches. <coughs> Ride Knight is here. Does not have Shatter, so not much he can do. Southwestern is split. Should be round. Round two. There we go. Round three, excuse me. Over so Trinity, Trinity will pick win up game this. two here. Yes. So we will be going to game three, tied up 1-1. One, one. <coughs> nice composition from Trinity. We saw the effectiveness of Faro, pharmacy combo, and then ball in the back line. That was great. Here's some clutch damage from No Bradbury. And here's the quick high noon. Mine's two, actually. <coughs> going over to hybrid for game three, as you can see. They will not be wanting to play on King's Row. Yep. That is banned out. Yeah. Uh, big farm, far, big farm, yeah. So, yeah. trying to avoid that True. one. Yeah, so Southwestern <coughs> really needs to find a way to deal with that Pharaoh, because that Pharaoh was pretty much clutch in winning game two, mm -hmm. I'd say. Big man Josh taking care of my coughing. Can't do it without you, pal. <laughs> so for game three, we'll be hopping into Hollywood. We'll be getting started that with that soon. Oh, they're going right in there. They they're ascending it. Yeah. <laughs> Wrap this one up. They are on fire. They're hot, they're warm, they're ready.
yeah, this last uh, last game will decide who goes to go on to semifinals and face CC there. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> We gotta restart this one bad. actually. <laughs> Didn't do pick bands correctly. Here we go. So we'll be uh <laughs> we'll be hopping back into it in just a moment once they figure uh stuff out. <clears throat> Losing team gets the pick. <laughs> Not the <winged. laughs> If I remember correctly. A little bit of miscommunication there, so usually how it works in other games. I I would hope it's how it works here. Looks like Mumbani? we might be playing Mumbani instead. Yep. Mumbani. I'll be selected. So pretty interesting map. Allows for more dive composition, so see if anyone picks those up. What is that? <coughs> What do we expect to see at the gate here? Hmm. Might see some Faro from Trinity on defense. Some Diva Winston could be pretty good here. Yeah. So we'll see if uh, that's in there. There's a lot of avenues pool. of attack for both teams. We've seen some different uh, compositions from both sides and different ways of getting the victory. And lots of high ground to take here. So. Yeah. So lots Trinity will be choosing the Winston. As of now, uh, the rest of the team is still deciding what they want to play. Southwestern, though, they're ready, though. Oh With the Junk Rat, we saw a lot of success from that in Game 1 from Mo Bradbury. They will be running that 2-2-2. Trinity still deciding what they want to roll out the gate with on defense. <coughs> but we see a Bastion here, potentially. Quirky. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Looking uh, for it. Not going to pull it out. <laughs> probably wouldn't even have enough time to actually get set up. Has to get the point pretty quickly here. Southwestern going to look around, take the left hand side. Looks like they will split up down the bottom instead. Going through the short doorway. Already on to point. Oh, Arisa could be in trouble here. Falls down. Yeah, he does fall up high ground, but the team follows to pick up the slack. Charge is there. Mercy's keeping the heal on him, keeping it alive, but <coughs> actually unchanged from him. And nice charge down. from Nighty Knight will find the advantage over to Southwestern. Another Southwestern pick as well. currently one for two. Puppy looking Already for any healing. Tick. We'll get the rest off. Ooh, Doesn't very close. Off, fortunately. <coughs> Beast with the damage on Ash here. Has oh, to reload. Ash versus Ash. Ash. Duel. Oh, are they yet. respecting <laughs> it? No, they're not <laughs> respecting it. The much more has to get out of there. Bad. It's taken out. But to Fast be fair, cap from Southwestern. There's lots on the line here. This decides who gets to go on semifinals. So I don't know if you consider that sportsmanship yep. at that point. Pull your hearts out. <laughs> Cars being pushed. Got to wait for it to get down there. He's taking the angles that he can find. Ash very effective against Orissa, able to find her big head with those headshots. <laughs> yeah, rip tire uh, takes, the, shot takes down. the wall angle. This one burger pants though. Nice tire from Mo Bradbury once again. Saxon Man dives the back line. <laughs> Southwestern still looking very strong, pushing in pretty hard. Payload's still quite a ways back there. Someone's staying on it strong and pushing it though. <coughs> Southwestern waiting for the cart to catch up with their push. Does find Torn Blade pretty far up. Doesn't get taken out though. The bomb, bomb gets thrown out. out, but doesn't go as far as he thought it would. Gets stuck on the uphill nice street. Anti there. doesn't quite find the rest of for his health though. Brought down about 50. Tornboy push a little too far. T8 finds that and capitalizes upon it. Southwestern getting a lot of free push here as Trinity's not contesting very much. But now, <clears> with the bongos. Bongos come down. Diva bomb thrown into the back line. 
finds two. two. Both of the DPS. Southwest gonna be lacking some damage here. There's no shield from Night Knight there. It was broken at the time. Nice no. deals from Trinity. They will have to run away here. We'll send the Southwestern back to their spawn doors. This corner here is pretty good defensive standpoint for Trinity. Nice job from them recognizing that and capitalizing upon it. But Southwestern does have five minutes to come up with a attack plan that will work against Trinity's defense here. Several avenues you can take and take it up upside here, the high ground, up the stairs and around. Looks like that's what Beast is looking see, for. Yes. All right, toss out Bob here a couple seconds. Oh yeah, Bob just came up. Oh, but Diva runs into him. Right on top of that, here's Bob and a transcendence from Pomgoog will negate some of that damage. And Bob versus Bob. Bob versus Bob indeed. Mo Bradbury's gonna find enemy Ash in the back line. Southwestern still on the payload. Mostly even fight currently. May favor a little bit of Trinity, they have a healer still up. Oh, Trying their best to get out. Ooh, Beast barely gets behind the shield with about 10% HP. So a few more shots and that would have been the end of him. But thanks to Nagi Knight, he gets out. Trinity looking pretty solid in the defense around the corner here. Although here's what I was talking about. Looks like Southwest is going to take the upwards route. Drop down onto Trinity. They don't seem to expect oh, this. Mo Bradbury <coughs> finds the pick on Junkrat to start it off. <clears throat> nice sound barrier from Tornblade to counterattack <clears throat> Burger Pants' Graviton. So can find the crucial pick. Full offense for Southwestern. See if they can close it out here. The Trinity's still standing strong, especially with the Bongos. Bongos go down. Oh, but Nano oh, boosted Junkrat. <laughs> looks like he destroys the bongos, finds two, <laughs> finds three. <laughs> this is a new strat. Comes up big. And has the rip tire, so he can keep going strong. Oh, but Ooh, Zarya with a nice tracking while floating in the air. Here's a Graviton from <clears throat> Southwestern. Will this be enough for Southwestern? Oh, Burger Pants in here. Burger Pants not taking out just yet, keeping the dream alive. TA out here on ball. We saw that earlier. It was pretty strong. Gonna try to keep the point uncontested. <laughs> TA just looping around, trying to... Charge is not good, unfortunately. Looks like TA strat of destroying <laughs> <laughs> everything working out pretty well. TA still in contestant. Pin is probably still on cooldown for enemy Ryan. Tire from Abari finds two again. Might we'll mean... Diva instead. <laughs> might mean the push they can trap and There trap we go. Ball. There they we trap. go. There's that. <clears throat> Taken care of. Should be... Three more meters. Only has a Yaga left. And a bomb should ensure that they capture here. Oh, he gets pushed off the payload. Oh, gets absolutely melted. Trinity still holding up strong, not trying to give this game up quite yet. Oh, is still alive. T8 back in action. Doesn't quite get <laughs> the uh, wraparound this time. Let's Ooh. put Minefield down before he dies. No oh, Bradbury taken out. But that's actually going to be a successful hold for Trinity. Wow. Burger Pants on the switch. To Doom the Doomfist was up pretty huge, successful. Yeah. Already has his ult up. Or almost. Should have it up for the next major fight. So Trinity coming up on three ults. Two defensive ones, one offensive. Southwestern has the graph and the nano boost, so they could find a lot of success with that. They combo them properly. There's a nano boost. Graviton is eaten by QWERTY, another one delicious. <laughs> Loves that. <coughs> Transcendence from Palmgook is there. Burger Pants finds one. Is in the on back line right now. Finds another one. Comes up big strong. on both supports. Should be a nice defense here from Trinity. You see something Rip pulls out. comes out. Finds Puppy. Southwestern getting pretty low. Uh, they're still not quite dying yet. They will have to back off though. Trinity's holding very strong here at the doorway. One minute left. That's all they have to hold for. Only a minute left here for Southwestern. So they pull out of their pockets. Nine Knight almost has Earth Shatter available. <coughs> Burger Pants is in the back line. Diva Bomb. Doesn't find anybody. Sound barrier maybe a little bit early for this push. Burger Pants still uncontested, trying to fight Mo Bradbury here. Who will win? Who will be Burger Pants? Finds only one. Finds two actually. 
Burger fans still holding up very strong. Yeah, South Austin's backline being harassed by Burger Pants, at least for the, these two past couple pushes. 25 seconds left on the clock. Southwestern needs to get together for this last final push. Hopefully they find success on pushing the payload all the way to the end. Swap over to Reaper here. Saxman is charged up. Let's see if we can get a non eaten Graviton here. Burger Pants still in the back line. Good. Here's Graviton. <coughs> Transcendence though from Palm Goo keeps the rest of the team alive from Trinity. Nanobush and Reinhardt doing work. Uh, looks so like look pretty even. even fight so far. Burger Pants uncontested. Oh, is gets trapped. trapped. So that's going to be a death sentence for him. Uh, TA getting, getting low. Trouble. No. no, he's fine. Zarya not doing as much damage. Still on overtime, so this is Southwestern's last uh, final bit. And Tiet's going to push them off the payload. Ooh. And that's going to be it for round one. Saxmans can't make it back in time. Successful defense from Southwestern. Or from training, excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that's how far they got. Right there, so... Trinity will have to beat Southwestern's push in order to win this game and move on to the semifinals. Oh, can you just imagine how what they're going through right now? <laughs> uh, <you know. laughs> this is very intense. <laughs> Trinity on their last push. That's what all it comes down to here. You can push this cart to the end. Come up huge. And move on to semifinals. Trinity will be going to their signature Fair of Mercy. They find lo they found a lot of success with that in game two. Hopefully that translates well into game three. Mo oh, Bradbury back at it again with Junkrat. Night night on Bastion. Let's see where they elect to set up on the high ground. They're gonna go all the way around here to the other side. Trinity gonna come out of the gate here with some more pharmacy. It has worked for them in the past. We'll see but how it performs here on the offense in Numbani. But Trinity's gonna have trouble with that Bastion as he will be shooting the Pharaoh and Mercy out of the air pretty efficiently. <clears throat> Looks like they're gonna go into the hallway here. Maybe not. Burger Pants finds the angles. Not sure what he can see. <clears throat> Definitely noticed by now. Yep. Tom Goog not probably able to do anything to this. He's got to be careful where he steps out of here. It's actually Nighty Knight on the Bastion. I usually see him on the Reinhardt, but. It's this double good. shield here for this Bastion. Both Orisa and Reinhardt shield. It's about almost 3,000 shield. It's lots of burn through. <clears throat> Some health. Dynamite is not good. Burger Pants uh, finds his life taken for that. A fair this wolf Pile Driver can become up huge, though, but there's nobody here to fix it. Once you can find the Roadhog, it's not there. Trinity is on the point currently. Contesting it, but not much. It won't achieve very much. You see a oh, swap over there. Tracer from Burger Pants. The fight still continues on on the point. Puppy clicks res, gets taken out. Nighty Knight going to Assault Mode, just going in. There's a boosted <laughs> Busio on the point. <laughs> 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 Looking for it. Trying to take out pretty huge. here. He's definitely going in. Here's a coalescence. <coughs> Try to keep things going. But they've lost too many members on their side, so they will have to be forced to back up. <coughs> Two minutes left on the clock to figure out how they're going to deal with that Bastion. He does have tank mode up, so... One thing of to note was that uh, we saw both shields from Southwestern turn around to face uh, T8 when he pile, pile drove. So you could have actually uh, hooked Night Knight off the point there. Whoa, finds the trap. <coughs> Quick pick on a QWERTY from Mo Bradbury. Has to get out of there though. Won't it's looking quite good make for it Southwestern. Anything. The Southwestern defense looks pretty good. That's what they need here. If Trinity can't cap this point, they can't push the cart. 
here. Minefield on Bastion, Bastion. but he's a-okay. Yeah. Puppy will res <coughs> respective uh, Farah. No, Bradbury and Tornblade are both down right now. Trinity is two splits to make advantage of it. Might be able to turn it here, though. Shatter. Oh, oh is found. The Farah. Will she fall down? No, she gets right back up before there's any danger for her. Still has the barrage, so they could <coughs> find some success in capturing this point. Turning back together again here. This Riptire probably not going to be able to find anybody besides QWERTY on the ground. Trinity looking for things here with Farah. Rocket Barrage looks pretty good. We'll find oh, at least Diva, one. Nice, nice weaves and dodges to avoid that. First tick's going to go down to Trinity there. TA doing his signature move of spin around the payload. Nice hook. <laughs> Just <laughs> find more memory. He's still alive with a sliver of health. The tank down mode here. is tank up. mode does find at least one to Burger Pants. Soundberry might turn this fight around, but they need right now. Whole hog make it a little bit difficult, but the shield is good. Melted it by Bastion. <laughs> Looks like that's gonna be it for Trinity's push. They're gonna have to regroup and do one last one. They will choose to retreat here. Night Knight gets back in time and save the point. Fifteen seconds beast. left. Do they even have enough time to touch? Oh, they do have a ball, so that's... I have ball. Ball's going to get there. The question is, will they be able to live through long enough? Here's ball. Uh, yes. oh, D-Bomb on point, though. Now on to overtime, so Puppy will be touching alongside T8. Uh, you need to be careful for this bomb. Comes up here. Three down for Trinity. And one more. Bars ticking out. down and Southwestern Western will come up on top. GG's to them. Well, advanced to semis. Close games, though. Those are great. That to was see. a close game. Oh, that's no Bradbury coming up pretty big on Junkrat in lots of areas. Yeah, not Other just this play game, pretty much the entire. That's set. Nutty. Look, look, <laughs> look at that. Up huge. Oh nano yeah, boosted. he got nano boosted. Yeah. This, this was the play. <laughs> this was the play. This is the one. We need to get him up here. <laughs> per se, uh, he was a uh, pretty successful MVP, perhaps. No. <laughs> Josh, Josh has no, so no. it's final. <laughs> <laughs> We're sorry. Oops. <laughs> Guess not. All players are MVPs. Well, maybe not. It's a little weird. Southwestern is MVP. There you go. MVT. MVT. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, like we said, Southwestern will be moving on to the semifinals, facing up against Colorado College whenever that comes around. Should be fairly soon. Yeah. After Shriner plays their game. 